On a story you'll see only on four this evening. We're learning more this evening about why the Pima County Attorney's Office declined to prosecute a corrections officer that was arrested for organized retail theft. The News for Tucson investigators broke the story after learning some sheriff department employees were concerned by the sheriff's decision uh, not to fire that officer. And our chief investigative reporter, Cora Nylander, is live from Pima County Sheriff's Department headquarters on the south side with this chorus. Well, Monica, all the allegations against this corrections officer are detailed in this Sarita Police Department report. This has become a very divisive issue within the Pima County Sheriff's Department and has led to a war of words of sorts between two of the unions here. Tonight, the Pima County attorney sat down for an exclusive interview to explain why her office chose not to take this case. This particular case, when it was presented to our office, went through a, a first review and then a secondary review and even a third level high review of the bureau chief because the accused has a, a, a position of trust in our community. In an exclusive interview with the News 4 Tucson investigators, Pima County Attorney Laura Conover explains why her team didn't prosecute Jose Monreal Jr., a Pima County corrections officer, after he was arrested in October by Sarita police for multiple documented incidents of shoplifting and what officers believed warranted two felony charges. According to this police report from Sarita police, Monreal Jr. was captured on Walmart surveillance video intentionally not bagging items at self-checkout 23 times over the course of three months. The total loss is just under $500. Conover says that's the reason they didn't pursue a felony case. The case falls well short of the thousand dollars necessary to pursue a felony conviction. Conover acknowledged they could pursue it based on a pattern of behavior, but it would be a daunting task. I mean, it would be like prosecuting 23 separate cases. Pima County Sheriff Chris Nanos told the News 4 Tucson investigators last week that he convened a leadership panel and everyone voted to terminate Monreal's employment, but he refused. The main reason for me is this is a man who has six kids. He is the sole household provider, income provider for the family of six and his wife, and one of those kids is uh, dying of cancer. Instead, Danos chose to briefly suspend Monreal Jr. That decision faced scrutiny from some staff like Deputy Aaron Cross, who heads the Pima County Deputies Organization. I think that it's just a, another terrible decision from Sheriff Nanos. I think that this guy needs to be fired immediately. Cross's vocal condemnation is facing its own condemnation from a different union, the Pima County Deputy Sheriff's Association. In a news release, it says it supports the sheriff's decision not to fire Monreal Jr., writing in part, quote, PCDSA questions why the head of other alleged employee labor organization would condemn such opportunities and create precedent for harsher punishment, knowing that may one day find their members in a similar predicament. But Cross isn't backing down, sending us a response reading, quote, the PCDO, which represents half of all deputies, is an organization that values integrity and honor. This man has tarnished all of our badges with his continued employment, and every one of the sheriff's senior commanders agrees when they voted to terminate him. Sheriff Nanos and his mouthpiece from the PCDA should be more concerned with the trust the badge is meant to represent rather than the common criminal who now, unfortunately, wears one. And the Sarita Police Department and Conover say the case is now in the hands of Sarita Municipal Court, which would only be misdemeanor charges. The court tells us they have no record of charges filed yet against Monreal Jr. That could just mean that prosecutors are still working out their case before ultimately filing the charges. We'll keep you updated. We're live from the Pima County Sheriff's Department headquarters on the south side. Cora Snylander, News 4 Tucson. All right, Cora, thank you.